Hi, this is Santa Fama, and we're doing a special troubleshooting edition today for the Fama Clear T720. And the most common issues, or at least the top three, are my Fama Clear won't turn on, I get an authentication error on Wi Fi, or even if I press the power button correctly, my tablet still won't turn on. So, what are we going to do? Well, let's start with how to turn on the tablet first. We want to make sure that when you do turn it on, you're using the power button right here at the very top. And you want to go ahead and push that for five seconds, okay? So we're going to go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four, five. And you'll see a little bit of a change in the screen color. And then what you'll see is the word file mate come up on the screen. And then the word clear. Now, of course, this loading takes anywhere between 30 to 45 seconds. Just kind of depends. We'll take it all the way home, and then what we'll do is we'll power off the device, and then we'll go ahead and push the power button and the volume plus button. And what we're doing there is, um, if you have an example of a tablet that will not power on after you've turned it on correctly, we actually have built in a hard reset into the FileMate Clear. And that is pushing a combination of the power plus button, or power, sorry, the volume up button and the power button at the same time. It's kind of tricky. Um, you kind of have to do it just the right way. And then what you'll do is you'll take you to a special screen and that's what we're gonna do next. We'll let the file make clear load all the way to the home screen. As we're waiting for that, let's talk a little bit about the authentication error. So here we are, we're at the home screen. I do have a um, pin on this tablet. And here we are at the home screen. So let's say you're setting this up and you're getting a Wi-Fi authentication error. Chances are you probably have not gone through the setup and set up a Gmail account, especially if you have this for a child. You probably decided, no, I don't want them to have email. The problem is, is that um, the way the Google operating system is on this tablet, it requires a Gmail account in order for a Wi-Fi to be authenticated. So you're gonna have to create parents. This means you, you're gonna have to probably create either use either using your regular existing Gmail account or you're gonna to have to create a Gmail account in order for you to get to Wi-Fi to connect. So if you see an authentication error, this means you need to go back into settings under Gmail and create a, a new account or add an existing one. Make sure you fill in all the fields completely. You'll be given a choice of either back or next. And if the next is grayed out, that means you haven't filled out everything on that screen. Some of that screen might be covered up by the keyboard, so you might have to take your finger and swipe in an upward motion like this to see what it's asking for you. Sometimes I'll ask for like a secret question or a backup email address in case the user forgets what their email address is. Once you fill out all that completely, your Google tablet, which this is, will finish syncing and then allow you to go to the Wi-Fi to set up your Wi-Fi. All right, so keep that in mind. Now let's go ahead and let's turn off the device. Pushing a power button and I'm pushing OK. Now each time I turn on the device or turn it off, I'm pushing and holding in the power button for at least five seconds. Keep that in mind. One more thing as we're powering off, um, you'll see that the tablet will turn itself off, usually after 30 seconds or 15 seconds, and that is a screen timeout or sleep function that's built into the tablet. You can change that in settings. You'll go to display, and you go to sleep, and then you can change it from anywhere from 30 seconds to never actually. Just keep in mind, the longer you set it for, the more battery it's gonna eat. So now let's talk about that special screen. We're gonna push the power, the, the volume plus button and the power button at the same time. And we're gonna hold it for about 10 seconds. And we should see a robot laying on his back with his front compartment open. And there it is. Okay. That's the special screen. This is also the screen that you need to do if your child puts a pin, password, pattern, any type of security system on their tablet and they've forgotten what it is, this is what you need to get to. And again, that's the volume um, up button and the power button at the same time. You're gonna use the volume up button here on the side and you're gonna have some different choices here. And let me see if I can zoom in for you as to what they are. So our first choice is reboot system now. The highlighted one right now is apply update from external storage, wipe data, 
factory reset, wipe cache partition, apply update from cache. So if your tablet didn't come on from the beginning, because either you didn't turn it on the right way or it just wouldn't turn on, you would use the volume plus button to choose reboot system now. If your child had put a pattern on there and you need to do a factory data reset, you would use the volume buttons to do a wipe data factory reset highlight. Whatever you've decided to do, once you've made your selection, you're gonna go press the power button here at the top and it's, it's gonna reboot. All right. Your data, if you do the reboot, your data is not gonna be erased. If you do a factory data reset, your data will be erased. Just keep that in mind. Should you experience any other issues, feel free to contact WinTech Industries. Their contact information is the back of the quick start guide. Wish all of you a Merry Christmas, uh, Happy Holidays, and a Happy New Year. Thanks so much.